If you could build your absolute dream camera, with zero compromises, what would it have? You'd probably start with something wild, like a 100 megapixel medium format sensor. You'd want it to capture not just accurate colors, but beautiful ones, so you'd throw in 16-bit color depth. For your workflow, why not build a full terabyte of storage right into the camera body? And to finally fix the biggest headache of medium format, you'd demand an autofocus system that wasn't just fast, but totally revolutionary. For years, a camera like that was pure fantasy. Well, that fantasy just became a reality. This is the new Hasselblad X to D2. The big question is, after decades of medium format cameras being slow, methodical, studio-bound machines, does this really change the game? Hasselblad just sent a shockwave through the camera world, and today, we're going to see what happens when the dust settles. First impressions and build quality. When you pick up a Hasselblad, you don't just hold it, you experience it. The X2D2 is no exception. Forget the unboxing, the experience starts the moment this solid, cool to the touch block of aluminum settles into your hand. It feels less like a gadget and more like a precision instrument, built for one purpose, to capture light. It has a real presence, weighing around 895 grams, but it never feels like a burden. It's a tough balance to get right. The grip is deep, secure, and gives you a ton of confidence. But it's the little things that show Hasselblad was paying attention. There's a new 5D joystick that's incredibly intuitive, making menu navigation feel second nature. They even added an extra customizable button and a shutter control port clear signs they've been listening to working pros. The interface is this beautiful blend of slick, simple menus and minimalist design. There are no gimmicks. Every button, every dial feels like it's there for a reason. By its very design, this camera encourages you to slow down and be more thoughtful about how you're taking a picture. In a world of non-stop, high-speed burst modes, that intentional pace is a breath of fresh air. It feels like photography again. The real world test but a beautiful design and an impressive spec sheet don't mean much if the camera can't deliver out in the messy, unpredictable real world. How does it actually asterisk feel asterisk to create with this thing? So, I took it where old school medium format cameras would have feared to tread, the heart of the city, after dark. I wanted to throw everything at a challenging, mixed lighting, moving people, fleeting moments, and deep, dark shadows. This is where theory gets a reality check. Could a camera famous for quiet landscapes and patient portraits actually handle the chaotic energy of the street? Could I shoot this thing handheld, in low light, and still walk away with that legendary Hasselblad quality? That was the mission. That 100 megapixel sensor let's talk about the heart of this camera. That 100 megapixel backside illuminated medium format sensor. The first question on everyone's mind is, isn't 100 megapixels complete overkill? And yeah, for your Instagram feed, it absolutely is. But if you truly care about the final image, it's your ticket to total creative freedom. The amount of detail is just staggering. You can take a massive, wide shot of a city skyline, and then crop into 100%, even 300%, and discover perfectly sharp details you never even saw with your own eyes. It's not just about having a huge photo, it's about having the power to find new compositions within a single frame and to print on a massive scale without losing a single drop of quality. But big resolution is an empty promise without great color. This is where the Hasselblad magic really kicks in. The camera captures 16-bit color, which translates to a mind-boggling 281 trillion possible colors. This is all filtered through the Hasselblad Natural Color Solution, or HNCS. This isn't about making colors pop with fake saturation, it's about rendering natural, painterly tones that feel authentic and timeless. Skin tones, in particular, have a subtlety that other cameras just can't seem to match. It produces an image that feels like a memory. And with about 15 stops of dynamic range, the sheer amount of information you get in the highlights and shadows is just incredible. The LiDAR autofocus revolution for decades, the biggest trade-off with medium format was speed specifically, out of focus. It was slow, clunky, and usually stuck to one point in the center. It was the format's Achilles heel. With the X to D2, Hasselblad didn't just improve the autofocus, they rewrote the rules. This camera uses a LiDAR-based autofocus system. 
Yes, the same light detection tech found in self-driving cars and high-end DJI gimbals. Instead of the old 290 for phase detect points, the X2D2 uses her own 76,800 ranging points to build a real-time 3D map of your scene. In practice, it's a revelation. I was tracking subjects in near total darkness, and the focus didn't hunt or hesitate it just snapped right on. It's shockingly fast and incredibly accurate. This completely redefines what a medium format camera can do. Suddenly, candid portraits, street photography, and maybe even some event work are all on the table. And adding to that freedom is the 5-axis, each stop in body image stabilization. Getting 8 stops of stabilization on a sensor this huge is an engineering miracle. It means you can shoot handheld at ridiculously slow shutter speeds and still get a perfectly sharp, 100 megapixel image. The LiDAR AF and the powerhouse IBIS don't just close the gap with full-frame cameras, they make you wonder if there even is a gap anymore. If you're getting some value out of this and you're passionate about the art of photography, hitting that subscribe button would be amazing. It helps me make more videos just like this one. The editing experience of turning the shot is only half the battle. For a lot of us, the magic really comes alive in the edit, and the flexibility you get from these files is where the X2D2 truly shines. Here's a raw file, straight out of the camera. It's a decent shot, but I deliberately underexposed it to save the highlights and the bright city lights. With a lesser camera, trying to recover those shadows would just create a noisy, muddy mess. But watch this. As I push the exposure and lift the shadows, the information just appears. The detail, the color, the clarity it was all there, perfectly preserved in that 16-bit file. This is what 15 stops of dynamic range actually looks like in practice. It's the confidence to know you can save a shot you thought was gone forever. You can pull back highlights that look completely blown out and find hidden texture and color. These files aren't just robust, they're elastic. And the colors from the HNCS system give you a perfect starting point. You're not fighting the file to get a natural look, you're just enhancing what's already there. The separation between tones is beautiful, which allows for subtle, precise adjustments that can totally reshape the mood of a photo. Editing these files feels less like a chore and more like a creative partnership. Who is this for and who is it not for? Okay, we have to talk about the price. The X2D2 is rumored to launch at just under $9,000. Let's be real, that is a serious chunk of change. But in the world of medium format, where Hasselblad bodies have often cost twenty or even $30,000, that price isn't just competitive, it's disruptive. It puts the X2D to an ahead-to-head -head battle with cameras like the Fuji GFX100 to and completely changes the conversation. The question isn't just is it expensive, but is it worth it for the right person? So, who is that person? This camera is for the professional commercial, fashion, or landscape photographer who needs the absolute best image quality possible. It's for the dedicated artist or the serious hobbyist who sees their camera as a long-term investment in their craft. It's for anyone who's been tempted by medium format but was always turned off by its clunky performance. And who is it not for? Well, despite that amazing autofocus, this is not a sports camera. It wasn't built to fire off 20 frames per second. And for all you videographers, this probably isn't the one for you either. While its video specs might be getting a slight bump, this camera's heart and soul is dedicated to the still photograph. It's a specialist tool, and it's proud of it. So, what's the takeaway here? The Hasselblad X2D2 feels like a genuine turning point. It delivers that sublime, and touchable image quality the Hasselblad name was built on, but it finally wraps it in a modern body with tech that removes the format's traditional roadblocks. The game-changing LiDAR autofocus, the mind-blowing 8-stop stabilization, the incredible build quality, and that world-class sensor all come together to create something that's deeply compelling. It successfully bridges the gap between the thoughtful artistry of old-school medium format and the fast-paced needs of today's working photographer. Hasselblad didn't just release an update, they made a statement. They listened, and they delivered a camera that feels both timeless and futuristic. It's not just shaking up the camera world, it feels like it's reshaping the entire landscape, making medium format a real, and maybe for the first time. A truly desirable option for a whole new generation of creators who refuse to compromise. Is it the new king of all cameras? 
That's complicated. But for the photographer who values the final image above everything else who sees their camera as a tool for creating timeless art it just might be. But that's just my take after getting to spend some quality time with this incredible machine. I really want to know what you think. Has Hasselblad pulled off the impossible here? Is the X2D2 worth that disruptive price tag? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear them.